Now they said that they were here first, but we was here first. This community was developed in the early 1800s. This was God's country. Before they come in, it was real beautiful and nice. We lived on the bay. We ate off of the farm. Uh, our food was, I guess, the best there was. So I would catch a hold to his shirt tail, and he would have the old gun in his hand, and we'd go along the swamp here in this area looking and hunting for rabbit and coon. You could walk down this fruit orchard. You could come up the back. There were pecan trees. There were a plum orchard right side of this house. It was beautiful. All of this began to vanish in time and uh, has completely been destroyed in the past years. And uh, it's things that we, the Lord blessed us with that cannot be replaced. The industry came in and divided and planted themselves in this community without our awareness. We never expected and anticipated for this to grow as much as it did. Uh, the water's been affected real bad. Uh, they, they, they use this well to pump the chemicals down in the ground. Well, I'd go down to the bayou to get in one of my boats, and even the crabs a lot of time would refuse to get into the water because it was so contaminated they'd run along the bank. The chickens were dying from eating the dead fish and things like that. We had about 39 cows and babies. Well, all those cows died except the 39th cow. Uh, now, FISTA have, has admitted to uh, the release of EDC in the, the groundwater table. Uh, it is uh, tasteless, so that when it get into a water supply, you cannot detect it's, uh, that it's there. There is no EDC contamination in the water. Um, I spend lots of time in Mossville with my little girl who's six years old, and when she's thirsty, they give her a drink of water. I would never let my six-year-old child drink water if I thought it was contaminated. The news media is told it's a 1,600-pound spill, yet this document made public because of litigation reveals notes made by Vista's Nancy Tower. The notes say unofficially a Conoco employee says the spill is over one million pounds. Still, the official statement sticks to the smaller number. It later turned out the spill did involve more than a million pounds. According to testimony, in a recent civil trial, the spill may have actually been between 19 and 47 million pounds. And you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that if you have industries nearby that are emitting millions of pounds of toxic chemicals, cancer-causing chemicals, that this is going to affect people's health. Detrimental effects might be uh, kidney failure. It might be uh, liver damage? Well, the health problem that I'm aware of is with my children. Uh, and I'm sure we all are affected by it, but I know my oldest daughter, Deneen, she's uh, 23 years old. She has never smoked. She's never drank. She's never done drugs. Then they told us that she had endometriosis. And now, about a year ago, she became very ill and uh, with tumors and cysts uh, about the size of a grapefruit. She had a tumor on one side of her ovary. She had a cyst on the opposite side of the other ovary. Uh, when they went in, they had to remove the complete right side, her tube, her ovary. The whole works, that, that tumor had ate up completely, the, the, uh, the um, ovary and the, uh, the ovary and the tube. It wasn't even there.
rocked it gently, softly keying a plaintive lullaby. The name of my organization is MEAN, and MEAN stands for Mossville Environmental Action Now, because we want to do action. We want to take action now on industry and what it has caused on this community, the impact. CLEAN is the acronym for Calcasieu League for Environmental Action Now. We found, did found CLEAN in 1982, and uh, we've accomplished a few things that have helped out immensely and hope to accomplish more. We won a small battle. I got the Senate and the House to memorialize and petition Congress to pass uh, a constitutional amendment, and it says that every citizen is entitled to a clean environment. You've seen this before? PVC pipe. Vinyl chloride monomer is used to make PVC pipe. At this time, I'm working logbook over in. Uh, vinyl chloride, and I'm the guy that put the sign up said this stuff will cause, cause cancer. This is what now brings you your drinking water safely. And now we're getting covered with raw vinyl chloride. Vinyl siding, PVC. My underpants fell, my shirt fell apart, but that wasn't the bad part. Wire coatings, PVC. Within a year from that time, I went down with heart bypass, Marion Clary died. It's, a, it's the stuff that keeps your blood safe. PVC bags. Everybody that got saturated on that one instant had heart bypass. In the early 70s, uh, we had an explosion at PPG. And uh, the tower fell, and the chlorine escaped so thick, we could not even see like across the uh, marsh area to the old home place. It was that thick. And um, we were not notified to evacuate. Uh, they just forgot about us back here. And, uh, if there's a release that, has to, that happens, then we have to depend on the industry to be the one to notify us. One of our concerns here is the accidental release of a chemical by one of the many plants in our area, or a transportation accident involving hazardous materials. An emergency of this kind sometimes dictates the need for the community to take protective actions. The first thing to do is go inside. Once you're inside, you'll want to shut all doors and windows. Turn off any ventilating systems like air conditioners or attic fans. And finally, tune into television or radio to get more information. This is a company town, um, and the companies run everything. They control everything. We have a level of independence uh, that means power uh, in a real good sense. But it upsets me that people are driven to fear by misinformation. Because they can't buy us off, and they can't control us. And that is an advantage that we have in a situation when a community asks for our help. The Greenpeace campaign against vinyl is one many people see as a threat to our economy, but local environmentalists welcome the group. Tritico says Greenpeace has already done some good. One thing that they have achieved is what we were hoping, and that, would, that was to help, uh, help us get the word out about a lot of this industrial propaganda that just bombards people. I think people are finally beginning to question some of the we're your best buddy commercials. We're not just industry. We're people who care.
because we have this campaign to stop gas and because Lake Charles is home to more vinyl um, companies than any other um, city in this country, um, and vinyl is one of the, the largest sources of dioxin, uh, Greenpeace chose to not only accept their invitation but to work side by side with the community groups here, in particular to stop Westlake from expanding and, and creating a, a whole new vinyl megaplex. Um, the, only, the only correlation I can make with all these accusations about health and industry and emissions is that the more chemicals we manufacture, the longer people live. Uh, Nancy Tower, which is uh, Ken, has went over to my sister to uh, tell her not to testify on this behalf. And she, uh, her reasoning is that she may lose her job. I said since that day that we built that plant and they went in operation, six out of eight of us here on this property has had cancer. I like to die that that was my uncle. It was like, hello, uncle. Six, six and of course the interesting thing with my uncle is when you talk to him later, they were all over 70 years old, mm -hmm. except one. And the fact is, you know, we can't live forever. And my sister at this time has got bone cancer and is, uh, is being uh, overtaken with cancer, yet she don't want her to testify on the behalf of the things that's happened to us in this area. And believe me, it has left me brokenhearted. Because, I, hey, I have seen the truth. I have seen the truth. And I've been threatened that I was going to be sued for blackmail because I said what I've said here today. If I know something is wrong, I cannot sit by and agree with that. The important thing is to fight. The important thing is to do what's right. We need to come forth. We need to be out in the meetings and to come out and speak up for your right. And the only way it's going to work is if you get the big populace together. He said, everybody's telling us we can't stop it. I said, you cannot give up because I have a stepdad that told me two misprints are in Webster's Dictionary. Can't and impossible. This used to be God's country. This used to be